Hello everyone, this is engineer Hussam. Today I'm going to show you feature cam, introduction to feature cam. Uh, in the previous lecture I show you turn mill or usually lathe. Now I'm going to show you mill, okay? You, unit of measurement, if you have drawing in inch you can choose inch, if you have drawing in millimeter you can choose millimeter and click here wizard, okay? And create a new document. Usually in the mill you will get the stock is uh, cube like this one cube okay or block they call it here so as I told you before what is the stock I explained to you the lathe and now I will explain to you the mill okay as an example this shape I want to create I have this shape okay and this shape I want to remove part of it from here I want to remove like this okay I want to remove and I want to remove like this as an example uh, from here okay let's see I want to remove this one here okay so this is my ship so what's the size of the stock here is the size of the stock from this corner to this corner this is the size of the stock if you take it here if you want to buy raw material you will ask uh, as an example the workshop I want length and I want as an example uh, let's say instead of length let's say this is width and this is depth and you also have to ask about the height because this one from here to here has thickness okay so width depth and height maybe here in the software you have different names width length and thickness okay width length and thickness okay width let's say width then here you have length and here you have thickness from here to here okay so width, length and thickness so this is the raw material we'll go to the medic do you want the raw material to be round or inside shape or block I want to choose a block what's the measurement 100, 120 and the thickness is 25 this is beam if you look like this if you can rotate let's right click rotate I will rotate it like this aha uh -huh. So this is B, this is A. Okay, what if I want to check which one is A? I will write here 200. Okay, next. Uh -huh. So 200 B, this is the B. So the shape is like this. X on the X axis. Ah, it's written here. X, X. Yes, X is 200. It's 200. And on the Y direction, this is the 100. A. And the thickness, this one okay let's say I want to increase the thick thickness to 40 next so it will be 40 now what type of raw material let's say I want aluminum do you have four axes or five axes I don't have finish okay so click on the home or you can go to view and click on isometric view as an example or this isometric similar to this one XYZ okay one more time if you go to steps this is the uh, stock okay we already define it uh, with geometry if you want to draw curve you make a curve in order to make the tool path follow the curve surface and solid you might not need it in this course and then go to features for the mill you have two types also similar to the lathe do you want 3d made features for you or you want to make 
your part from curve if you don't have curve and you want to make hole just go to click on hole next what's the hole diameter as an example 20 what's the hole depth through I want it all the way through preview so this is the hole okay why the hole is in the corner because we did not define the location where is the location here's the location zero 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 because the location of the XYZ in the corner do you want to change it where do you want to change it as an example 20 by 20 preview it is here 20 by 20 okay do you want to change it to location by pointing to the location pick a location you can do here okay preview now next you want to drill type of drill ream bore I want to drill next uh -huh. see you will find error here next okay and finish okay now you will do simulation and you will of course here there is an error it's it's obvious and here in the part view we will check now and the error okay let's go to simulation where is the simulation on the home solid 3d and start doing like this uh -huh, it's error why it's error click on the hole this is the drill anything you have to click choose drill what was the dimension 20 so you go to drill and here uh, not anything twist drill and down go to uh, 35 so you don't have go to 20 and change this one to 20 apply okay overwrite yes apply okay then click ok reduce the speed ok ok so now here is the hole ok the hole. go to the hole again go to the drill I remember in the dimension I say I want to be all the way through and the depth is 25 okay let's change the depth to 50 apply okay okay now let's say play okay it is all the way through okay so this is my first address okay I go to steps I click stop I go to steps feature I want to make rectangular pocket but in this case the rectangular pocket should be having rectangular shape like this so as an example the length is 100 the width is 30 review uh, I want uh, uh, I want to have corner radius this is the corner radius this is the corner radius okay the corner radius 5 okay let's say I want to change the corner radius to 8 review this is it 15 review is 15 return back to 5 review this is 5 and here bottom radius if you change this one bottom radius from down if you look to the part from the front view here you will create a fillet then you have to change another end mill another cutting tool end mill will not work you have to make ball nose or ball nose okay so in this case it will not work the end mill so let's keep the bottom radius zero what's the total depth I will change it to 10 I will make it deep little bit and do you want chamfer do you want draft angle do you want angle anything else I will say no but the location I am not satisfied with this location I will go next here's the location you can change to 10 by 10 preview okay or you can pick by as an example here it will be selected from the corner or as an example pick here okay next do you want rough and finish or only rough all the time you have to choose rough and finish okay because you want to take amount of material and then finalize the part do you want several types of rough zigzag NZ spiral let's say spiral and then we will change it next 
everything is okay next next here next next that mean I am selecting the tool the software ask you is it okay to choose this if you don't okay search for another tool but I am saying next because later I will find if I have error or no then I will modify it if I don't have why I search okay here what are the RPM do you want to change the RPM the speed and feed since we are not going to work in the machine now just click on finish do you want to use cutting uh, fluid I don't have cutting fluid now I am only doing simulation so that's why finish I think this th is uh, the the depth of the cutting tool is not appropriate let's say finish ah it is appropriate okay I want to make it in 3d and then I will do like this see okay this one then you go to stop and you go to steps uh, to part and here you have hole and you have rock if you don't want to show the hole every time just unclick this don't highlight it and then you're only going to see the the pocket only okay so stop what was the depth of cut each time this is the rough this is the rough past one what was the z increment it was not selected so go here and type one set and then go to pass two what was the z increment not selected one set what was the finish finish pass z increment i cannot see it yes this is one finish pass preview okay now click on ok stop choose 3d click here now you can see that it's only go one millimeter each time see if you go here okay you can see uh, now click OK after all you have finished everything everything here let's increase the speed okay here I forget to tell you about this tab here down this is the detail what you are done you have part the setup one today is Tuesday uh, at 3 a.m. yes I am late uh, stock the size of the stock length width and thickness uh, every information and here the G code see in the, the here is the G code see here in the first line G00 G20 G17 G40 G90 G and G see this is not considered a complex shape and although this is not a complex shape see how many lines we have go down here you have 2175 lines and this is M30 the end of the program see that's why the cam software is important okay so this is the two features as I said steps or go from here features so whole rectangle slot if you want to make only slot okay what if you want care some this feature given to make pocket but this is only a pocket rectangle or pocket with fillet but if you are giving an exercise as an example something like this okay you cannot do this shape unless you have curve but you have to remember one more thing that the cutting tool will not fit inside these corners so you it will leave fillet okay let's shoot in this case you don't choose big pieces you have to use close curve so you click on first one and it's curve one create okay now to go to features boss or pocket yes this is boss or groove ah pocket next curve one is selected next okay the z is correct on the zero now what's the depth of the pocket as an example I want 20 do you want to add draft angle or you want to make chamfer do you want to make bottom radius as an example no see uh, rough and finish 
next next and finish see I will show you something now from the top you can see that there is sharp edges but if you make the simulation let's say simulation I want 3d see for the second one Okay, see, this is the part. It was like this, but because the cutting tool cannot fit inside. See, this is the pocket, the rough, end mill, what was the diameter selected? 22 and 22. If you want to be more precise, you can change this one from 22 as an example to 14. Okay, so when you click like this, Okay, wait. I don't want to see the the first pocket, the rectangular pocket. I would on, only want to, to see my part. See now it's become more better. Okay, still cannot fit. What I can do? I can do to go to pocket. Okay, and for the rough for the operation. Okay, step over, launch. Uh, what's the z direction? This one Z increment as an example I want it to be two millimeter set. Okay, but as I said for the rough we can change the tool. Even 22 is big, so I can change this one to 14. Okay, and the this one to 14. Ah oh, I did not select it. 14 14 apply yes and this one finish I want to make it 6 and apply so now I have 14 and 6 see the result look here see it is better why it show me like this because it tell me that the holder is will hit here because I selected small cutting tool and the depth is high I have two ways to solve this problem either go to the pocket and instead of adding 20 make it 10 and then do like this play so there will be no error one more time or go to the cutting tool for the rough or for the finish it was and click on the 6 and increase this one see this one it who are a catalog like this 18 apply see it will be increased and increase the overall length to 50 do the modifications and that's it okay so if I want to see it as a 3d I can see it now it's almost perfect okay so I will delete all of them I will delete everything now what if I want to make a square outside of the object that's called boss like this as an example uh, where is the rectangle there is no rectangle geometry is no rectangle ok let's say I want to do something like this Of course you can use dimension if you want, but for fast demonstration I want to show you. I click on shining, I click on this one, it's curve 2, ok. I don't want to make it down, I want to make it up, so I will go to features and boss, ok. It's already selected, what is the height, let's say 10, finish, now see how is the shape, ok, make it up. You can see to the G-code now how many lines we have, 605. The reason we don't have a lot of lines because the Z increment, I think it was talking and without, yes, no Z increment. If you make here 2 millimeter or more, see, if you do play one more time, go to here, go down from 650 to 2000. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much.